Here we have the Z Grills 1000D and all the parts we need to assemble it. These two protective plates at the back of the grill cooker can be disregarded once they are deassembled from the back of the grill hopper. Okay, so these parts can be pulled out and discarded. Just throw them away. Now we have removed all the parts from the two boxes and laid them out on the ground, ready for assembly. Okay, the first step of assembling is to turn the platform upside down and install the wheels. Wheels with the brakes go at the back of the platform and they're just screwed in by hand until the end when we use a wrench to tighten the wheels. The wheels without the brake go at the front. Here you can see the two holes for the magnet fixing plate which is the front of the cabinet. Once the four wheels are installed loosely in the plate we can use the wrench to make sure they are all tight. Before installing the magnet fixing plate first remove the two magnets just by hand. Turn the platform back onto its original side to install the magnet fixing plate. Make sure the magnet fixing plate is facing forwards. After installing the magnet, magnet fixing plate, push the magnets into the slots and make sure the clip at the back of the magnet is secure. Once the magnets have been pushed into the slots, squeeze gently at the back for the clips to secure firmly. The second step of the instruction manual is to install the left plate of the body frame onto the platform. The front of the body plate should be sticking out here. It's the same side as the magnets at the front. After the left plate is secured to the platform, then secure the right plate. Again, with the protruding part of the plate at the same end as the magnets. After securing the left and right plates to the platform, it's time for the black back plate. Okay, this will need six bolts, screw two at the bottom and then screw to the two sides. Now with the arrow facing up, secure the beam to the left and right sides of the body frame. The third step is assembling the hopper. First, put the hopper top on the hopper bottom. The hopper handle is installed with the bolts at the bottom. Now to secure the grill hopper to the body frame. There are four bolts that need to be inserted. Two at each end. The next step is to mount the hopper into the grill chamber. The filter is placed between the grill chamber and the smokestack and placed onto the grill chamber. The chimney cap is placed on top of the smokestack with the bolt going into the hole. When installing the doors, first place the bottom pin into the hole the frame then pull down slightly on the top pin until you find the hole, then release. After the side plate has been secured with two bolts from the inside, tightly firmen the bolts on the inside to secure the side plate. Okay, insert the three step bolts onto the side plate. These can be tightened by hand. Next place the heat baffle into the slots. The grease drain pan is placed into the chamber 
with the slope going away from the hopper. When installing the ashtray handle, the handle's holes should be facing up with the bolt being inserted from the outside with the nut being tightened on the inside. Now we have completed the assembly of the griller and we are ready for cooking. When not using your griller, always remember to put on its all-weather cover to keep it in pristine condition.